Hello everyone, this is Zirko Ben back with another video. And today I have my 2009 MacBook here. And for those of you that are my subscribers, I had a MacBook Air and I was going to do my coverage on that. And I did a little bit of it, but I still have to edit that. And I just ended up returning that thing because it was just a bit too expensive for my needs right now. So I'm just going to show you guys this. Um, this is going to be a video about this MacBook, how well it does now that it's six years old in 2015. So let's get started with that. All right, let's get started, guys. Uh, this is my MacBook uh, 2009 with a 2.2 gigahertz processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a 9400M graphics. So I just wanted to help you guys out if you're looking at buying this laptop or if you're just here to watch my videos. Uh, thank you, if that's the case. But let's just look first at the outside of this laptop. Um, I got one that's kind of beat up because I got it for $175 used, actually. So, yeah, it's in uh, okay condition, of course. The charging port is freaking cracked up like a lot of these are. But the plastic of these um, unibody MacBooks, the white plastic ones, just doesn't really hold up as well as the aluminum models. I'm kind of not liking it uh, for that reason. But overall, it's a really nice design. It kind of The whole thing is just kind of uh, rounded. It's really a sweet design. It still looks fresh today. So there you are. It's open. Not quite as fast as like an SSD would be, but still definitely fast. So let me type in my password here. So I think the big question that I wanted to answer today was how is the general performance of this machine now that it is 2015? And I'd say it's definitely great. I mean, you, uh, Apple has made Yosemite to work well on this hardware. So I'd say definitely if you're looking at getting one of these for cheap on eBay like I did, $100 and $75 or $200 is usually about what they sell for, then you can expect a great performer from it. So uh, let me just show you guys kind of just swiping through everything here. If you're watching my hand, things are just about instant. And if I open Launchpad and stuff, it's just right there. Let's take a quick look and see how fast iMovie takes to load, which is kind of probably about the heaviest application I have on this computer. So clearly, it's taking... Uh, numerous bounces and a lot of time to actually open up because I think it, it has a normal hard drive, no SSD went on here. But really, for the price of this thing, I'm going to just deal with that compromise because it's just such a great price for it. And from what I've experienced so far, um, once you've opened the app once on the same boot up, it'll generally load up faster the next time you open it up um, because it kind of loads into RAM and stuff and definitely having a faster, I mean, a, a more RAM in the system can aid that. So, uh, let's look at battery here. Uh, sometimes it says, like, eight hours of screen of uh, battery life remaining. And that's only, like, once or twice when nothing's happening. But most of the time I've been able to get about four hours of, of uh, working time with it, maybe three and a half. But if you're uh, keeping the brightness low and not doing a lot with it, I, could, I can see you probably get... Four and, a, four and a half to five hours out of it. So, and this has a new battery in it. But, yeah, for sure, uh, this is definitely a working device still today. Um, I don't have much else to say about it, but I just kind of wanted to say, if you're looking at getting one of these on eBay, or if you're, if you're just trying to, if you still have it, and you're trying to not justify buying a new one, I'd say definitely it still performs well. And as you can see, there's just some little slowdowns here and there when you're doing big things but as a whole the whole thing is just pretty fast I'd say so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, please subscribe if you like it dislike and like if you whatever you guys thought so yeah peace have a good one